What up, man? Y'all know who it is. It's Black Superman. And y'all know the title of the video. Does Dim have any side effects? I've gotten this question a lot of times. I'm glad I could bring this answer to y'all and let y'all know the truth of the pudding. You feel me? Superhuman athletics. Let's go. Oh, one more thing before we get into this. Like, subscribe, share, comment, click that notifications bell. If you don't do it, you ain't superhuman. I cannot be held back now What don't kill you, empower you Just don't let it devour you What's within is so powerful Let the power empower you I said what don't kill you, empower you Just don't let it devour you What's within is so powerful Let the power empower you uh. Oh, oh y'all back? Oh, my bad Alright, man, so Dim Does it have any side effects? I got y'all Now, look, I get this question a lot and um, y'all know how I feel about Dem. Y'all know I love Dem. I've been talking about Dem for years. Dem is all absolutely amazing. The only thing that I ever heard about Dem for the most part is DHT being blocked. Now this could be good for some people. It could be good, bad for some people. But for the most part, what it's gonna do is it's block the bad and negative effects of DHT. I talked about this in one of my last videos about Dem. Go check that out. But most importantly, what we have to know about Dem DIM lowers E2 levels, estradiol levels. This is estrogen, guys. Y'all know that's why I always prescribed it and talked about it to y'all about lowering estrogen because what? We're attacking estrogen dominance. So that's why I always talk about it. Get DIM, lower estrogen to combat and fight estrogen dominance. But here's the kicker. You know, some people don't have estrogen dominance. Some men don't have a super high estrogen dominance. So this really wouldn't be a side effect of DIM. If anything, it would simply be that the individual's estrogen levels are low and already low. Now, if you've been taking DIM for a while and it lowered your E2 levels, right? And it then got mad low, then boom. That's how it could somewhat be a side effect, but not really if that's what you was doing it for to begin with. And you know, most of the times when you're taking DIM to lower estrogen, you're gonna start to feel better once that estrogen start lowering. You see what I'm saying? So you should feel better before you start to feel some negative effects that could come from having too low E2 estradiol levels, all right? So for me to really get you to understand what I'm talking about, say you start taking the DIM, right? And you start to feel better, you're feeling good, boom, 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 boom. You're feeling great and amazing. What I highly encourage is that you go to a doctor, a physician, primary care doctor, and get your testosterone, estrogen, and all those levels checked. I'm always gonna promote that, y'all, because we have to know for sure. There's no reason for us to play in the dark if we can find out, you know, what our levels are, because we need to know if they low or not. So, these are some of the side effects, or these are some of the symptoms that you could experience if your estrogen is too low. And this is how you'll be able to gauge, and this is how you also know, okay, it's time for me to chill out with them. Let me chill. Apparently my estrogen levels are low, let me stop. But you don't want to base it on this alone. Go get your levels checked when you start feeling good after taking them. Make sense? All right, let me explain. So here's some of the symptoms. Fatigue, depression, forgetfulness, uh, water retention, so, you know, that's going to make that gyno look back worse again. You know what I'm saying? It'll, it'll, it'll start doing things that you don't want it to do. Start bringing back issues that you was using them to combat against. Uh, but, you know, water retention. Uh, messed up sex drive. So your sex drive is going to start to go down. You see what I'm saying? Sexual issues can begin to come when your E2 levels are low. That's why we have to understand that hormonal health is important. We can't say, oh, kill estrogen completely, no estrogen, because yo, we need estrogen in a lot of ways. Estrogen is not 100% demonic. You see what I'm saying? It's a part of our anatomy, it's a part of our health. It's a part of our hormonal health and our endocrine system. We need est estrogen as men. We just don't want it to be going way through the roof. You see what I'm saying? So that's the best way I could put it, man. Those are some of the symptoms. There's even more. I believe insomnia is one. Also, anxiety is a side effect. Irritability or a symptom of too low estrogen levels. So that's the biggest thing that I want y'all to really think about, man, when taking DIM. I know I get a lot of my guys, man, that come to me and they hear me talk about DIM. 
but everyone's different. Some of my guys might not have, you know, estrogen dominance, but they still want to get some benefits from them. It's something to be very careful with, and most importantly, like I said before, talk to a doctor, get your, um, get your hormone levels checked to make sure that you're not too low in estrogen or too low in anything. And it's all about balance, y'all. Y'all know who it is, man. It's Black Superman. Y'all want to see more videos like this? Comment below. Like, comment your thoughts. Share this video if you believe it'll help another guy, man. Other guys that's, you know, try to kill, kill, kill estrogen, but don't realize that they got to be careful because too low estrogen can pose some similar side effects to estrogen dominance. Let's get it.